Dodgers hosting the Angels. The Angels are plus 166 on the money line. The Dodgers are minus 198. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Angels getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 137, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Dodgers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 114, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. Neither of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team last year or this year, and the weather in LA is supposed to be... 74 degrees with 9 mile an hour winds blowing out and no rain. Head to head, the Dodgers are 10 0 against the Angels in their last 10 meetings against them. The home team has won the last two games they've played against each other. The home team is 6 4. Granted, both teams play in LA, but, you know, different stadiums. The favorite is both 9 1 on the money line and 9 and 1 on the run line. And ironically enough, the Dodgers were an underdog against the Angels. And I thought it was a game that Otani pitched, and it was. The over is hit in their last two. There have been no one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is 6-4, and four, and at 8.5 runs, there was 1, 2, 3, 4. The under is 6-4 and four at 8.5 runs as well. This is their first meeting between each other this season. They played a 2-2 two and two last year. The Dodgers took the 2 in Anaheim, or in the Angels Stadium, 2 nothing both games. And then in Dodgers Stadium, they won 11-4 and 10-5. So when the Dodgers were home, they put up a tad bit more offense. The Angels are 3-2 and two in Sandoval's last five starts. They've won his last three starts. The road team has won three out of his last five starts. The over is 3-2 and two in those starts. Five innings pitched, 5.6 hits, 3.8 earned runs, 5.4 strikeouts, 2.6 walks, one home run per game. He did give up a home run in his last start. 96.4 pitches per game, 18.7 pitches per, uh, per inning. Knack... I'm not seeing any data on him yet, so I don't want to give out false information. The Angels are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 1-3 and three in their last 4, 19 runs, 8 runs, 9 runs, 2 runs. 6 runs and a loss, 5 runs and a win, 3 runs and a loss, and then shut out in a loss. For the Dodgers, they were struggling with the Rockies, even though they took 3 out of 4. The Rockies should not have given them as hard a time as they did. 14 runs, 20 runs, 13 runs, and 8 runs. They are 4-1 and one in their last five. Nine runs in a win, 11 runs in a win, six runs in a loss, and then five runs in a win. And they lost that game on a sacrifice fly in the bottom of the ninth inning. They do have to travel back from Denver to L.A. Even still, I, I just trust the Dodgers more. Dodgers with the money line, Dodgers laying the runs, and when they played in Dodger Stadium, the games went over, so I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.